Hello mathematicians and welcome to Number Corner. For Number Corner today, we will be measuring our plants. Remember this month for our calendar collector, we will be growing and measuring corn and peas. Today is our first day of measuring how much our plants have grown so far. To measure with me, you will need your Number Corner book and a pencil. You'll open your number corner book to page 77. It should look just like this. You can pause the video now to get what you need. Once you have your student book and you're open to page 77, I will show you how we are going to measure our plants this month. If you look at the picture on the screen, you can see how much our plants have grown after just a few days. If you look here, you can see that's a sprout coming up out of the dirt. There's one right here, another one here, another one right there, and one more here. We're going to start to measure some of our plants today. We'll measure the same two plants together on our chart, and I'll measure the rest of the plants in the containers uh, on my own. But we'll measure these two plants labeled with the number one. Let's get out our books and our pencils, and we'll measure our plants and record their height. To measure our plants each day, we will need a centimeter ruler. Now this ruler goes from 1 all the way to 25. We'll see how tall this plant is um, and then we'll record it. I say just the peas because if you look at the corn, has it sprouted yet? Do you see a plant in this container? Thumbs up or thumbs down? No, we don't have a sprout yet for the corn, so I'll show you how to record that when we get there. We do, however, have a sprout for our peas. So I'm going to take my centimeter ruler, and I'm going to put it as close to my sprout as I can. And I'm going to kind of turn my pot a little bit so I can see how tall my pea sprout is. Now, I can see that my pea sprout comes just above the line for one centimeter. I'm going to be measuring to the closest centimeter each day. So for day one, my pea sprout is one centimeter. Your page 77 should look just like this. On the very top of the page, it says we planted our seeds on April blank. Well, we need to fill that in together. We planted our seeds, remember, on April 5th. So you're going to write on the line the number 5 followed by TH for April 5th. We also need to write down what we planted. Well, we planted two different plants. We planted peas and we planted corn. I want you to write on your line that we planted peas right on the first line and corn on the second line. Your page should look just like mine. This is what you should have filled in on your lines. We will use this chart to show how our plants grow this month. For the date over in our first column, we're going to put the first date that we measured our plants, not the date that we planted them. So we're measuring our plants today on April 8th. So you're going to put 4-8 in this column for the date. Now we want to write the height of our plant in centimeters. But we need to decide what plant is going to be plant one and what plant will be plant two. For plant one, we're going to go with our peas. So right here, we're going to write peas 
for plant one. And then for plant two, we are going to write corn over here. Now that we have our plants and our columns labeled, let's write how tall our peas are on day one. Remember when we measured, our plant height was closest to one centimeter. In your books, you're going to write the number one and the letter C M with the little period next to it. That's an abbreviation for centimeter. We won't worry about amount of change yet because we've only measured our peas and corn for one day. Now let's skip over to plant two for our corn. Well, remember our corn hasn't grown very much yet. We can't even see the sprout. So we're gonna put zero cm, again, short for centimeters, to show that our plant hasn't started to grow yet. We will continue to fill this in. We'll catch up every few days as we measure our plants. And then we'll start to put this on a, a different kind of chart so we can start to see how our plants are growing. Your job for now is to tell your teacher how much our plants have grown so far in Seesaw. You'll need to take a picture of this page in your student books and show your teacher. Good work so far. I'll see you next time for Number Corner.